LSU coming on. Oh, absolutely. The, the <laughs> LSU front line has put put some pressure on Kentucky's back line and tired. Racing forward, Rhodes making the central run. Richardson had that swiped away. Lindsey. Third, and, and she can penetrate from the dribble, which could attract two, three Kentucky players and look for that final pass in behind. Alexander. Alexander. Oh, brilliant little ball tucked ahead. Bosco lifted over Swift. Finally, Kentucky strikes it frame, and Swift able to punch that over the top. Bosco, little clever movement here in between the center back and outside back. She sees space over Swift into the back post, and she just goes for a little clever little clip. But what we haven't said is you have to be ready to go 110 minutes at this tempo. The attack is on here for LSU. Rimco gets a touch. This ball lobbed back the other way and off target. This skips all the way through. Tips now. What a save, Nielsen. The burst. Alexander. Alexander got a shot away. Nielsen. Morrow. This penalty. Okay, here we go. Molly Swift, goalkeeper against goalkeeper. To put LSU ahead! Swiftly gets the job done! What a moment for LSU! The offense isn't there, so they turn to their goalkeeper! Never seen this in all of my time in the run of play in the, in the middle of a game. Molly Swift comes up, gets Nielsen going the wrong way. A little bit of disguise there, opens her shoulder and puts it, goes for power to her left. It's a fantastic penalty. The team was one for three taking penalties. <laughs> you see who's jumping highest, it was the back. These coaches described a lot of introspection during their losing skids. Alexander, everyone's on skates off the base of the post. That could have been the dagger. This, how deep can Alexander get this? She can have a go. Alexander! Nielsen, the denial. Still more now, Johnson. I think just heart, really, you know, just getting out there and, and playing for something bigger than yourself and realistically just knowing that our season was on the line tonight and, um, you know, we had to get a win tonight in order to put ourselves in contention for the tournament and got a lot of players on this team that will be leaving us at the end of the season and it was just about can we, can we step out of our sort of mediocrity that we've seen in the last few weeks and, and just find that self-belief and the ability to play for our for our upperclassmen and just get back to playing as a team. And uh, I think the grit and the determination that the girls showed tonight was huge. I think we obviously won, but I think we could have won by a couple more. Um, some big saves by their goalkeeper, hit a couple of posts, um, but overall just a great performance. Yeah, yeah, you know, she's, she's just so consistent on PKs. Um, one of our best penalty takers for sure. And I think she stepped up with a ton of confidence and, and put it away and buried it for us. But not gonna lie, it was a big moment. Um, but she came up with some big saves too. So big performance from Molly on both ends of the field. Yeah, we've just talked about, you know, four games left, four cup finals, so to speak. And, you know, I think just shifting the momentum tonight was huge. And obviously we'll start preparing for South Carolina tomorrow. But I think the most important thing tonight was just getting a, a good team performance and, and lifting morale. And we'll be, be ready to build on that tomorrow. I feel really amazing with the team coming off of that little losing streak. It feels really good that we fought for one another with the coaches with us. We fought for everybody next to each other, and I'm just really proud of us. Honestly, I'm just taking what we did together, just fighting for one another, and we keep doing that on Thursday night and hopefully getting another win so we can continue this winning streak and just make sure that we reach the beach together.
Uh, right now, it's just one game at a time. I really can't focus on the next game and the next game after that. It's just what's coming next for us, which is South Carolina, and we just have to focus on that. I mean, it's a big deal for me because it's my last year, and I'm just trying to make it a good one so I can remember it. Um, honestly, it's an unbelievable feeling. It's kind of just been like a secret goal of mine to score in a college soccer game. So finally fulfilling that is uh, big time for me, but definitely a team, team goal there. Yeah, I think we all honestly all just wanted to hold each other accountable and hunt accountable and hunt for every ball um, and attack as a team and defend as a team. And I think we really accomplished that tonight. So it was great to see. I think just taking the intensity, um, treating every game like it's our last, I think has really helped and just kind of sharing that intensity with the teammates and knowing that we all have our, each other's backs.